Right, folks, behind me there, you can see Uri House, which is an old mansion. It used to have this old estate, the Uri Estate. But now, as you can see, it's getting taken over and it's been going to get houses built onto it. Although there was a rumor back uh, a few years ago that Jack Nicholas was going to uh, have something to do with this and make it into a golf resort. This is going to be a golf house and he was going to have golf courses all around it, a la uh, sort of a, a Trumpesque kind of place. Would have made a good, good, uh, good area as well, but it's now just uh, going to be houses, I'm afraid. a very strange street name here. It's called Ink Bottle Walk. So we had a look at the other street names around here, but they're all called William Mackey Crescent and uh, Highfield and North Lodge, kind of bo <coughs> boring names. But this one, very interesting, Ink Bottle Walk. Thought maybe something to do with school related things. We thought the other ones might be called Quill Way and Desk Lane or whatever, but no, this is the only one, so there it is, Ink Bottle Walk. Well, folks, we've stopped off at uh, the East Glebe or something, East Glebe Walk. So, uh, Rose taking me to a viaduct. Yes. Is that a shortcut down there? Oh, it's a bit steep. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right. Oh, 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 no. Right, so we're heading down towards this, this viaduct that Bro used to see when he was on his, uh, on his train journeys, when he used to commute. Here we go. Right, Stonehaven FC's football ground. And there's the viaduct we're going to do, folks. Oh, folks, look at this, the most disgusting stream in Scotland. Look, it's orange. <laughs> God, what's all that about? Gold mine thing. It's gold fucking hell. What's all that about, man? That's disgusting, isn't it? Is it gross? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, I've been to some beautiful places in Scotland, absolutely yes. glorious places, but we also have seen some absolute this is a shite place harbingers of doom. <laughs> uh, look at that, man. That is absolutely disgusting. What did you call it, bro? One of these shite places in Scotland. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, That's a shite place in Scotland. Go and spaz. <laughs> Uh, Frankie, get yourself down here and look at this one, mate. Absolutely awful. Disgusting. I don't know what's caused that orange tinge in there, but it's absolutely horrific. I thought it was a good foot match going on here. The yellow team seems to be doing quite well. But uh, what we've come here to look at is this uh, viaduct here. Look at this, it's massive. Very impressive indeed, I must say. Wow, folks, look at this. Amazing. Right, bro, what's this here? This is St. Kieran's Well. How do you know that? Um, because I just know these things. Okay, right. And it's um, from AD 1860, I think it was. Right, AD 1860. Right, okay. Yeah, and Kieran, St. Kieran was the patron saint of viaducts. Okay, and uh, what does AD stand for? After death. <laughs> <laughs> And you can drink the waters here. So go on then, bro. So go. Yes. Mm, oh, nice. That was the last time bro was ever seen. <laughs> right, folks. Well, look at the curvature on this uh, viaduct. It's fantastic. Look at the concrete work on this. The every pillar looks more or less the same. You can you really get a sense of, um, or not all, but you know, it's, it's absolutely massive when you're walking on. I mean, look at bro. Look how small bro is in comparison to the, these columns, man. And you can see where each individual brick has been put up and cemented, and, and the work that's gone into this man is absolutely fantastic. Looks you have an old go kart track here, look. <laughs> Spoiling the ambience there. There's race control over there, look. Can you get up there? Yeah. <laughs> well, you should do. I think it's blocked off now, maybe. I've seen anybody on it then, no. Yes, well, I thought it was actually quite a small track, but what it is, mm. folks, I think it's a uh, model race track. Oh, that's quite interesting. A model yeah. race track, then, yeah, for the model cars, right. 2016 is not kind of out of date, isn't it? Yeah. Well, folks, this is actually quite interesting. Uh, I thought it was just a, a normal go kart track, but I thought it was a bit small. And then when you actually get to it, it's uh, a model uh, remote control cars. And this is where they would have controlled the whole thing from. They would have stood up here and looked down on the on the track. There we go. Look at that. Uh, how does it go? And there's sort of several different tracks they could take depending on the uh, how hard the uh, the track is or whatever the, the level of competition is. It's a 
So there we go, amazing. And you get a great view of the viaduct from here as well. Super stuff. And there it is. Yeah, model railway and model railway. Model cars with a race around here. Race around here. Yes, that's, that's, that's where you would have... I don't know these things are here, folks. I'm not too sure they are. Yeah. Right folks, my camera's back on again. It's on. It's on. Uh, oh, look. Ooh. Oh, hang on. What's that? Right. Oh, oh. stunning. I did this last time as well. Oh. oh. <laughs> We're back on, folks. Now, just talking away there uh, about how if... It's so like we could amalgamate myself into bro as to become one super brother <laughs> rather than just have like one, one two of us. Super brother. But yeah, we could have one. And same as Spiz Day. So we could only do it one day a week. it would be like... Amalgamate now! <laughs> Amalgamate now! And we'll be, yes. we be one brother rather than two. Weekly. Two rubbish people, they have one. Yes. Right. I've got a vegan sausage all day. Vegan sausage. Right, folks, it's that hungry and cold. I decided to come to Greg's and have a coffee, and I've decided to have a mature cheese and. Uh, uh, was it cheese and ham toasty? Uh, taken away though, but Rose decides he's going to eat in. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. The, uh, the toasty punk. Well, folks, my first uh, <coughs> my first impressions of Stonehaven are very good toasty from Greg's indeed. Wonderful. Good coffee as well. Might out of ten. Well, we have a. Seven out of ten. Oh, yes, low. well, seven and a half then. Probably got higher. flooded town in Scotland, did you know that? What's that, Stonehaven? Yeah. Right, interesting yeah. fact, bro, what's the fact? Stonehaven is the most flooded town in Scotland. Look it up on YouTube, folks, there's loads of floods here. Wow, flokes, did you say flokes? flokes? Oh, no, sorry, <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> no, I didn't bring oh, them, man. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I've been perfect, bro. Well, I've come down to the beach here, folks, but a bit of a quandary, we can't go over the water, because uh, it looks like the bridge is getting... Uh, rebuilt or something getting done to it so we're stuck here we're stuck with the ducks we've actually come off the bridge folks i don't know if it was supposed to but pedestrian footway closed oh. we've come across the bridge there folks we've started the freaking we're stampede of people going across it now what's this an iron dolphin Flipper. They call him Flipper. Scott Associates Sculpture and Design. They see that strange sculpture right here. What is it? Fish workers, look at them. James Bond and his micro right. It's not one of these sculptures, look. They're called the Chippy Way. Oh, this is another one. The Viking launcher. Look at this. Wow. Stand close. Fantastic. I'm not sure what moves as well. Right. So these uh, are all along the the front here. It's fantastic how somebody can put so much work and be so intricate with detail and yet put them on public display. Um, luckily none of them have been vandalised. Yes. Yeah, long bro is it? What's this one all about? The work that's gone into these is oh, incredible isn't it? It is remarkable. Yeah. Slinkies. The slinkies, yeah I know that's what it's like. Right, I think one, isn't it? The lighthouse, look at this. Wow, it's even like a working lighthouse on it. Look. Uh, 
Uh, no, it's still in the cute again, the one now for, for ages. This is the final one. This is a, a lighthouse right here at the very end. It's got a working light and everything. It looks absolutely brilliant. So on the uh, the Spiz Modern Art Ometer, these all things along here, all of them, they're all worth a very, very good nine. Nine out of ten, folks. Nine out of ten for these fantastic sculptures. Absolutely brilliant. Whoever's made them, respect. Wonderful to throw trying to do a spizzle today. It's very clumsy today, but he trips it down the beach on a stone and he always fell into that lighthouse and knocks it over, so very clumsy today. Sundial. Well, there's suns, you can't oh, tell the time. Well, folks, that was the Tollbooth Museum there. If you do go in there, absolutely wonderful. Full of little, little, uh, wow, look at that. Sorry, just speed boy, speed jet ski boy, way to go. Uh, yeah, most uh, nice, nice sort of lots of old artifacts and stuff in there, mate. So do go in there. It's free to enter. It's free to enter. Brilliant. Yeah, folks, you found the old fat barometer for bro. Going to be changed to fine. Yeah. Right, come up, folks. There it is. Look at that. The deep five miles bar. So it's down in here, though, folks. Look. They dredged the river. Obviously, doing something there. Down the deep five miles bar. Has Bro gone in to get one? Okay, folks, it's that one. Right folks, so we've we've actually purchased a Mars bar. It's uh, a roasting hot Mars bar covered in batter. So we're gonna try that. Um for a couple of forks about. So thank you to Jenny who's in there. Fantastic. Just pull it off, bro. Just kind of. Is that my bit? Is it? Yeah. Well, that's my bit. Right, folks. Here we go. All right, folks. Here it is then. Well, it's very mouth clamping. Well, it's not bad, I suppose. It's make a nice sweet. Oh, just a wee half though, couldn't eat all of it? I said so bro stuffing the whole thing in his mouth. Oh. Look! Oh. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, very sweet. And obviously the oil it's been fried in has been made with chips and extensive the potatoes. And that as well folks, but it's not bad. Couldn't eat a whole one though, no way. What do you reckon bro? I like it. <laughs> you like it? Mm. <laughs> I like mm. it. Mm. Oh, bro likes it. Yeah, it's not too bad, folks. Two bites is enough, though. Yeah, that's enough for me, man. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> well, the deep fried Mars bar is uh, something you really have to experience. Uh, it's hard to say what it's worth on an ometer mark because everybody's got their own view on it. Um, personally, I think it was quite uh, sweet and sickly, but had a nice crunch to it. So. I would like, a, it would just be a small amount with some ice cream would actually be really, really nice. So on that bit alone, just on a half of her Mars bar um, with some ice cream, I'd probably give it uh, an eight out of 10 just for that alone. But serving it with some chips and that, I just, I can't see how that, how it's gonna happen. But bro really liked it, didn't you bro? I'm still choking. It's still choking. Two on. was enough though. Yes, uh, that's what I said. Two, two bits was enough really. Um, a half, one each is perfect. Thank you.